Hey guys, this is just an update on my 16 panel LED build. Uh, right now I'm six panels in out of 16, 10 more to go. Um, the process is getting a lot more streamlined uh, using 3D printing, kind of get my materials down, so on and so forth. Uh, right here I've got, you know, just a mock setup here. Um, the back is basically a bunch of ESTO connectors and aluminum tubing. I'm using these eight-way connectors here uh, because they're just versatile and they can connect in any configuration. So if I want to have a right angle turn, I can do that. Um, down here, I've got a test power supply. This guy is going to have to get upgraded real soon. Um, just about capped out on current. I'm um, using the Octo WS2811 um, LED types along with the uh, TNZ 3.1. You can see that there. Uh, two Ethernet cords are coming out of the uh, adapter board. And I've got DC barrel plug jacks connecting to each um, data in. I'm using PowerWorks connector as the Anderson power pole. They're absolutely beautiful. I recommend them for high current apps. And that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, a lot of tubing going on back here. There's going to be a lot more to come soon. I'm currently pushing just about 60 frames a second. Um, with 3,840 LEDs, this is really, really good. Um, Touch Designer is able to keep up with that too. If I go over here to uh, performance mode, see if I'll focus. Um, got a few different animations here. Let me pull this one up. As you see, animation over here is updated. You can see that the, um, the panels offset are being mapped correctly. Thanks to some setup and touch designer. It allows me to do that very quickly on the fly. And yeah, that's the setup. Uh, there'll be more, more panels as they come along these next couple weeks and hopefully they'll be done in a month. So stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.